Tonight, a drug testing facility in North Carolina is rolling out a test to identify xylazine. We've told you this before. Xylazine is a powerful horse tranquilizer and is also known as Trank. And we recently brought you a series of stories showing how dealers are using it to cut street drugs like fentanyl. And overdose cases involving this drug are exploding across the Carolinas. Right now, though, there are only a few labs in the country actually testing for the drug. One of them is at UNC Chapel Hill, and another is just starting in Western North Carolina. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker takes us inside the lab, giving us a closer look at the shocking data. We're inside the Keystone Lab in Asheville, North Carolina, one of the few facilities in the country testing for xylazine. And while testing for this is a little bit newer, the lab says it's already seeing the impacts on the community. This chart and this spike shows one thing, a positive test. It is like a fingerprint, but for a compound. Wednesday afternoon, Kennedy Plude is hard at work. And here is the sample. A scientist at Keystone Labs in Asheville figuring out the blueprint and what sticks out. So they're all different and they're unique. This week, aside from the over 70 drugs she screens for at the lab, they've added one. We've had a couple that have come through and the doctor suspected xylazine and we got positives. Xylazine, or known on the street as Trank, is a powerful animal tranquilizer. You're not screaming like before, that's a plus sign. Dealers are cutting it into other drugs like fentanyl and the user doesn't know it. The results, it slows your heart rate down to a dangerous level and in the worst cases, it renders the user unconscious and creates deep open wounds that take months to heal. Right now, there are only a few labs in the country testing for Trank. There is some powdery residue left behind. One of those at UNC Chapel Hill, testing the drug supply itself through needles and injection cotton. And now, Asheville is entering the market, but in a different way. We're testing only in urine currently. So this is the biggest um, biggest and quickest spread that I think we've seen um, really ever happen. Matthew McGreevy, the lab manager at Keystone, says normally when drugs spread, it's slow. But xylazine has been the opposite, a reason why the lab is now testing. If somebody is unknowingly taking um, xylazine, then they don't know how to treat that. And it's a big concern is naloxone also doesn't work for it either. In previous reporting, stretching from the eastern part of the state, UNC Chapel Hill shows as of May, out of 551 samples collected, 130 came back positive for Trank. Checking back in Wednesday, just a month later, they've collected an additional 100 samples. Out of the 100, 32 came back positive, 32% of the new samples. But this is just as much as that epidemic. Uh, we don't know what the future is going to be like fentanyl. Derek Stone with Keystone Labs says lab results are more effective. Right now, the xylazine test strip will provide a good indicator, but McGreevy echoes Stone. You'll get false negatives, really, because it's present in the urine, but below that cutoff. So I was hoping that we would test for it. Sitting at her computer, Plude studies the results, looking to see if xylazine shows up, hoping this is the beginning of finding the blueprint. And what these spikes represent are the positive results. That will stop the spread altogether. Hopefully prevent the use of it. In Asheville, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte. And once again, we have been following this trank epidemic that's been bleeding into the Carolinas for a bit now. You can see our complete coverage in Austin's previous reporting, as well as addiction resources right now on WCNC.com. Just look in the featured section.